Um, my name's Ian Cope, I work for Rising Sun Pictures. Um, I'm a VFX producer there, so that essentially leading a team of artists and technicians to deliver visual effects for film and managing the, the client relations and the budgets, uh, schedules and that sort of thing. Um, I think the biggest challenge probably as a team we, we got awarded uh, the work on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and having the pressure of millions of people around the world that uh, are obviously looking forward to the movie but those also that have read the book and have got their own idea of what this magical fire would look like and then having a team uh, put in place to actually create that and to work out what it looks like. Um, it did take us uh, many, many iterations and working with our client but we got there. And I'd probably say working with someone like Hitchcock, that would be great. I mean, if he was alive now, it'd be interesting to see what he'd do with his movies and visual effects or whether he'd use them at all. The, the tools at the moment are, um, are amazing, so you can, you can get a lot of stuff for free where you can look at uh, tutorials and various things online and to be able to ensure that your skills are, um, are, are quite solid and you can start, start to broaden your, um, your skill set. Because a lot of the, uh, the popular studios will get uh, 10, 20 more applications per day um, and so you need to be able to stand out. You need to be very competent and very clear in what you are good at. And if you're really trying to get in, I, I just sort of say accept any sort of work that you can within a company that you like. The sooner that you work within a company and they see that you're a talented, calm person that can get along well with other people, then the better it, it is uh, for you to be able to move into other areas.